the deal was that uh, in order to in order to get the the imagery that the uh, command wanted, we had to cross over the same spot twice, and that was a no-no. We just never did that, and we looked at it and looked at it and said, "All right, we're going to have to do it." We you know went in and crossed our path, and. As we and and as we did, we went over some overcasts or undercasts at the point, uh, and we weren't really that high. We were probably about three thousand feet, and uh, I saw a flash in the viewfinder. Yelled at the pilot to pull up, and he immediately jerked a pole, and uh, we we went up, and there was a big thump. <laughs> and uh, the next question out of him was, "Are you still there?" Because he thought it was my seat going out, and uh, you know. I, I, a loud house I was there and we exited the, the, the place when we got the back and they looked at the film and knowing the size of the missile and everything, they calculated it missed by 104 feet. Uh, well, what the North Vietnamese would do sometimes if you were low like that, they would fire a missile without turning the radar on, which would uh, not give you any warning that they had you locked up on the radar. They would just, like a bullet, fire it, bang, and see if they could hit you. Well, they came pretty close in this case. Uh, they've actually they actually got some like that, but uh, then if if they if they didn't get you that way, then they would arm the radar and try to guide the missile to you. But uh, but that's what that was. It was uh, you know, and of course the reason that they didn't actually blow up was because we were uh, inside the arming radius. The the thing the, the systems were set up so that it wouldn't arm the missile until it got far enough away from the site so that it didn't kill all the guys on the ground. <laughs>